Hi, I'm Joe with Wild Pilots. Let's talk about balance and props. You might wonder why you should balance your props. It's because uh, the balance of your entire uh, copter depends on it. Um, once you get your footage back, you'll notice sometimes that there's a, a jello effect or a rolling shutter effect that just ruins the entire footage, especially when you're flying in, in really bright daylight. So one of the things you can do to get rid of that is to balance your props. Once you balance your props, you'll notice an improvement in both your footage and your maneuverability and your handling. So today I'm going to show you how to balance these props. First we should talk about how many different kinds of props there are. There's a lot of different kinds. There's the tri-blade, the, the two-blade, and there's even giant wooden props. Uh, specifically for multi-rotors, um, traditionally 8-inch to 14-inch, depending on the size of the copter. Um, we're going to focus on the 8-inch today. And uh, first thing you're going to need is a balancer. This one is made by Dubro. It has a couple of configurations to handle larger props. It'll run you about $20 online. And what I like about it is it's not one of those magnetic things. It actually operates on very smooth discs. So we'll take um, a, an 8 inch prop here. We'll put it on uh, our spindle and um, we will give it a spin and we'll see what happens. The heaviest part of the prop will settle at the bottom of the balancer, sort of like a pendulum. This is how you can tell it's not balanced. We need to add weight to the top, which is lighter. What I like to do, and you can use anything you got lying around the house, scotch tape. What I like to use is um, is the stuff you can get from the local hobby store, and it's a little bit uh, a little bit heavier um, than regular tape, and so you don't have to use as much of it, and it really sticks well. It, and it comes in these sheets uh, that are about like a buck each at your local hobby store. So. So we can tell there's an imbalance with this one. Um, the lighter side up here is where you want to put the tape. So cut yourself a little piece of tape and find a place on the blade and just just estimate kind of and then give it another spin. Put it somewhere where you can actually take the tape off if the balance is, is incorrect. That's another great thing about this tape is that it comes off really easy until you're ready to really stick it on there. And also try to do this in a place where there's no wind or any fans around. So it looks like this side of the blade is a little heavier, but it's not quite heavy enough. So we need to move our piece of tape out further from the hub to balance it out and make this side just a little heavier. So that looks about right. So now that the blades are balanced on the prop, there may still be an imbalance in the hub. If we see the prop continually coming to rest at the same place every single time we spin it, then sand down the centerpiece, the hub, at the bottom where it's heaviest, just a little bit, until we can spin it and there's no pendulum motion and the prop comes to rest on its own. That's it for this time. Good luck in balancing your props.